Let's start from the FCT minister. It took him, first of all, good that he's on it right now. But it took him, if not more than one week, to show some form of reaction over the plight of these people because he's been in Port Harcourt, River State, weekends back to back, basically playing politics, grassroots politics, while the FCT was burning. Now he's saying, local government chairman, they are not going anywhere because they are supposed to be on ground to know what is going on. And then he's also talking about uh, working with the security agencies. And of course, he cannot help himself, as you <laughs> just basically said. Oh, if anything happens that they will call the FCT minister. But this man came into office and we had high hopes. We had expectation. He moved like a thunderbolt. He got, he got into everywhere and was everywhere, you know, taking his stands and all of that. We are wondering what could have made the wicked that we know step down on his approach to development of the FCT to the point that under him security in the FCT has deteriorated to this point. Could something had happened, a sort of warning, a threat that we are not aware of? Or is he, is he just being distracted with the politics of River State? What do you think may be panning out here with the FCT minister? Well, um, the issue of uh, insecurity in Abuja and the FCT minister and the politics and all that, for me, um, he, I, I would say the terrain, the terrain where he is now, probably he didn't envisage that things like this will come up and probably he didn't take uh, measures that would make him stand firm at the point he came in. Like, like when he was, he, was, he was sworn in. He, he said he was going to hit the ground running. And actually, he, he did. But probably he didn't look at insecurity as one aspect that he would need to tackle instantly. Because before he came, there had been this insecurity challenge in Abuja. Mm. You know? So he would have also noted that this is one area that he needs to tackle. Because if you want to talk about development, now if you demolition in Abuja and all that, will also create room for persons to be displaced. And these persons can also go into so many things. So there are measures you take to mitigate the outcome of such policies. <clears throat> now, that was not made. You know, but, but in as much as he is there as a minister, he, he has called the chairman, fine, good, fine and good. They should also collaborate to see how they can stop this thing. But the point is this. What is on ground to tackle this insecurity? Because those persons who are perpetrating this act are living in Abuja. Some years ago, ago, we had a CCTV camera and all that, and all transpired around that. Yeah, when, uh, he, uh, yeah. stuff. Okay. when he came in, as a, so speaking of CCTV camera, it was one of the things he said he was going to demand investigation into as per who was given the contract so and all of that. That's what I'm asking. How far? What, what do you think may be panning out? Okay, maybe let me come to um, Reverend here. The FCT minister, uh, Barrister Wilson Wiki, when he got into office, like I said, he moved like a thunderbolt. He was taking it from all corners, as a matter of fact. And then he suddenly, I think from October, thereabouts, suddenly we, he was no longer as active as he used to be. We no longer knew what was happening. Now, as we speak, the insurgents or bandits, if you may, seem to be over tr uh, throwing authorities in the FCT from an allegation of 200 persons that were supposedly abducted in some of the Buari and some of those local government um, LG councils. councils. From there on, you move on to the fact that families are now being abducted. The Aria family who was abducted with the, the sisters and the mom, the little 13 year old um, philosophy has been killed. Um, um, uh, the other girl, Nabiha, was, have also been killed among the six sisters who was abducted by the, 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 with their dad. Now, now they are demanding for 700 million. Well, with this meeting that the FCT minister and um, the uh, IGP also had different meetings at different points, basically seeking solution. How much of this do you think is going to need this issue in the board? If they had to wait for the opera to get to this point, or oh, the president also had a security meeting with the heads of security agencies on the same issue. If they had to wait to this point, so now seem to be talking about it even, how much of these meetings and the instructions being given can actually help to nip this in the board? <coughs> the Bible says... That when the when, when this when this when the snake has beaten, needless for the charmer. And that is where we are. 
you see that the, 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 both the FCT minister and the, the security operatives in FCT, they are more of reactive instead of being proactive. You wait until it has happened. happened. Medicine after that. And you are converging high-profile security meeting. For who? And look at the FCT minister. Sorry, I'm not trying to be... This, uh, he's my man. He's, my, he's our, our person. We should protect him. But we shouldn't protect him to the detriment of the life of Nigerians. You are telling us that uh, you people are not sleeping. When we are hearing your snoring. You are telling us you are not sleeping. That uh, people shouldn't panic. How will you explain to the father of the girl that was killed not to panic? How will you explain to the villagers, the, 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 the brothers and sisters, those who know the person not to panic? Mm -hmm. How will you tell the neighbors not to panic? That you are on top of the situation. Which situation? It is obvious that the, these, uh, these uh, 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 actors, criminal elements, seem to be more powerful than the state actors.